what's up? Okay, so I'm gonna be using this simplicity pattern. It is a little fitted. I'm looking at the size chart on the back. I'm going to be making a size 14 in this shirt because here's some of my reference photos. So I want this to be a little more loosely fitted, kind of like the boyfriend style t-shirts. So I'm gonna make this a few sizes bigger than I need it to be, and then adjust where I need to as I go. Come on, Bobby. Isn't that right? All right, so let's get started. So I have all of my pattern pieces laid on my fabric, paying attention to which way the stripes are going on my fabric. I'm gonna be doing vertical stripes for the front, the sleeve, the yoke. This will go on the inside of the shirt and won't be visible. And to save as much fabric as possible, I just let them go horizontal. I'm going to iron out each of my pieces and then pin them together before I sew them. <laughs> So this is the back side of the shirt. So the first thing I'm going to do before I attach the yoke is there's a little bit extra here. I'm going to make a pleat in the center and then try to match up the length with my two front pieces. So once I have this pleat in the back here, I will pin it, attach the yoke, and then I will pin on the two front pieces as well. so far for the front back yoke and I just pinned on the collar so I'm going to attach the collar before I go into hemming and adding the buttons on and deciding which buttons to use so for now attach my collar add the sleeves cut it to length and then buttons are next. I'm planning to shorten um, the shirt to here I've already pinned um, but I won't have to cut me off I'm just going to hem the shirt to this length and I'm planning to Roll the sleeves up to add just a little bit of texture and I'll sew that in place. And then I will move on to the last step, which are the buttons. But I would love to do maybe just three or four larger buttons and then maybe even leave this top unbuttoned down to here. So for now, I'm gonna hem the bottom, the sleeves, and then the buttons will be coming. sewn buttonholes and now I take a seam ripper and cut the opening between the thread so that the buttons can slide through. So I'm going to cut that and lastly hand sew the buttons on the opposite side to go through the holes that I just sewed. Thank you. 